Good morning, ladies. Hi. Good morning. That's such an unusual Hi, I'm Valdi Levy, and you're on the Valdi Levy Show here live from Dallas, Texas. Thank you so much for joining me. Thanks for Thank having you. us. Thank you for having it's us. It's my joy. I have Dr. Ogden with me today, and I have the wonderful, the beautiful, the talented Vicki Lawrence. You too, Dr. Ogden, but I'm just a big fan of Vicki's. <laughs> Thank you guys for joining us on the Belder BB Show. Thanks for having us. Thank you. Dr. Ogden, would you set the medical platform for us before I speak to uh, Vicki Lawrence, please? Yes, definitely. So we're talking about chronic idiopathic urticaria. It's kind of a mouthful, but what it stands for is chronic means lasting longer than six weeks, idiopathic, there's no identifiable cause, and urticaria is the fancy medical word for hives. And this is a medical condition that leads to chronic hives that can appear spontaneously anywhere on the body and wax and wane for weeks and months and be intensely itchy, uh, often very frustrating for patients as they look for a diagnosis and um, ultimately can be uh, difficult to treat until you find the right um, doctor, an allergist, or a dermatologist. Um, so there's some great resources out there. Uh, today also we're mentioning this wonderful website, ciunu.com, uh, a great resource for patients and doctors. Let me ask you before I let you go, is there anything that triggers, triggers it? So that's a really great question. Um, what makes this different from other allergic hives is that there is no cause. Um, allergic hives, typical allergic hives, you get exposed to a dog or a certain food and you see hives right away within minutes to hours. With CIU, there isn't that clear association. So again, patients are looking for that. They're trying to eliminate foods from their diets or products that they're using, but they still continue to get the hives. And that's what leads to this um, idiopathic, we can't find the answer of what's causing them. I'll switch to Ms. Vicki Lawrence. Ms. Lawrence, I know you're here. You've got to be uh, a sufferer of this. Uh, I, I am or a supporter. Well, I'm high free, and I have been for about five years. But uh, when I was first diagnosed with, I think, you know, Valder, when you get hives, uh, your initial reaction is I ate a bad shrimp or I've changed my soap or something. And I think for CIU patients, uh, and there are a million and a half of us in this country, um, the most frustrating thing is uh, trying to blame it on yourself, trying to find the answer, trying to figure out what it is you've done wrong. And the thing of it is, for, for those of us with CIU, there will probably never be an answer. And I've talked to people through this program that have been looking for answers for literally years. So when I had the opportunity to jump on board this website, which is uh, sponsored by the Asthma and Allergy Foundation of America. It's made possible by Genentech and Novartis, so a lot of good people that know what they're talking about. I said, yes, I will put my face on there and hopefully help lead people in the right direction. Uh, they can listen to my whole story. If it sounds familiar at all, then uh, they're going to want to download the materials on the website. Uh, there's a symptom tracker and there's a conversation starter fill all of it out, take pictures, so that when you do get to the right allergist or the dermatologist, you'll be armed and you can be proactive about uh, hopefully uh, getting help and managing your hives. Okay, I just got a quite one more question. Dr. Ogden, does this only affect adults or does it affect children also? It typically affects um, people between the ages of 20 and 40, and it actually is more common in women. Women are affected twice as much as men, so it is more of an adult, um, d adult condition. Thank you. Vicki Lars, let me ask you this. If you suffered from this, did you ever have breakout? Because you, you've been, you were a TV personality for so long. How, you know, this came on suddenly about five years ago. And uh, when I couldn't get rid of the hives, uh, they literally, it started as hives, and they would get together and form continents and islands. And I mean, it was really incredible. Um, it, the only thing that would give me, I would jump in cold showers, you know, and just stand under them until I was freezing, uh, shivering, and had never heard the term CIU. And when my doctor diagnosed me, I got on the web and there was no information about CIU. So I think now the really cool thing that I'm most proud of is that if you start Googling CIU, <coughs> excuse me, our little website's going to come up, CIUNU.com. And it's full of a lot of good information and hopefully will remind people that are dealing with CIU that they're not alone. 
All right, ladies. I want to thank you so much for bringing this to our attention. And I just have one question for you, Miss Lawrence. Will you ever bring Mama's Family back? Mama's Family is going to start running on MeTV uh, the first of the year oh. again. It's going to be on, uh, I, I believe they're going to run it uh, two episodes back to back at 8 o'clock. Uh, yeah, starting January 4th. So very excited about that. No, you've made my day. Thank you so much, and thank you, Dr. Ogden. Thank you both thank very you. much, and thank you for telling us about something that really can help people have an opportunity to find an answer to it. Thank you for being on the Valder BB Show. It's been Thanks my pleasure. Thanks for having us, Valder. Have a good thank day. Thank you.